Take six. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm a little concerned. I had read the NRC um, event notification and followed it over the last few days, and I understand that the situation is still ongoing, and that they um, are really not sure when the system was lost. But it appeared the pumps had stopped running, and uh, I'd like to know if they found out anything else and if the reactor is still being controlled manually. Not by the NRC. This is uh, the plant is required to submit a notification when there is um, an unexpected plant shutdown, and you know for a number of um, other uh, parameters. But just to be clear, the event report that is available um, online was submitted to the NRC. Company by the plant. Um, the uh, plant was shut down manually to uh, make sure that it would remain um, in safe condition. Once the original problem with the cooling system is fixed, fixed the feed water pumps themselves were not affected. Okay, but there two there was a leak that was identified in the feed water system by a, a phone call where there's a, a direct on the oh, event. Yeah. It was it wasn't it was the um, the backup uh, feed water system, which is actually it's not a safety system. Um, yes, there there was the first leak. There was an update at five fifty five EDT on 914 from Chris Robinson to Jeff Herrera that stated that they had a leak that they could not find in the standby feed water system. This was in addition to the leak that they had already found. There, um, originally, there, um, I don't know that there was so far, I'm aware of this one leak in the standby feed water system, um, and as I said, it's a it's a non speed related system. Um, so um, you know that that it, it was not us identified. They knew that there was a leak, and they um, knew where it was uh, coming from, and so it. Um, and, and it's getting, it's, it's not unidentified leach. It was a leak. They knew the source. They're fixing it. Well, just so you know, I know a person who works at the plant that told me this has been an actual, like, harrowing ordeal. That was his words. That they can't figure out what's going on. So is that, that's still the issue today? They don't know or why? The pumps originally shut down. They still don't have that information. Um, I, you know, this is this is an, an ongoing situation, and we are, you know, certainly monitoring it. And and um, what I can tell you is that we had an inspector on site while this was happening, and if um, there was any doubt. In the agency's um, confidence 
that um, the situation was being handled properly, we would have additional inspectors, we would have a special inspection. Um, there would be a very different posture from us. Um, it was a complicated shutdown. Uh, a number of systems um, were affected, but they were not safety-related systems. So a safety-related system is designed to uh, make the plant safe in case of an accident. And, and that's, you know, something that we watch primarily. Um, so it, it was a complicated situation. There's, there's no question about that. But in the end, it was handled properly. There was um, the safety of the reactor was not compromised throughout this, um, uh, you know, all these developments that we discussed. Um, there, under, under the emergency class, they have it coded as 5072 potential uncontrolled radiation release. Was there any no, radiation no, no, release? No, 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 there was no radiation release. 5072, is, it's not, an, there was no emergency. There was no emergency declared at the plant. It was, the plant was manually shut down. It did not reach any emergency level or emergency classification. There was no radiation release. There was the, the you know, the public was never in danger. Um, so, as I said, there was a shutdown. There, there were a number of technical issues that came up. There were issues with non sector related systems. Uh, in the end, the plant remained in a safe condition. So there was no radiation released to the atmosphere at all while it was in hot shutdown? No, as, as a result of, um, there was no unexpected or unintended radiation release. But there uh, was a radiation release, an expected one? There, um, this is, uh, there was no radiation release as a result of this event. Was there radiation released, yes or no, I guess is my question. I'm telling you there was no radiation released as a result of this event. The fuel was never uncovered. There was never, um, uh, I'm not sure, you know, what you're looking at. I'm, I'm looking you, at the NRC event notification page. It's, it's, a, it's an event notification from the plant. It's not from the NRC, but it's on the NRC website. So, um, okay, so uh, a, as of right now, the reactor is shut down, and it's in a, sa yeah. a safe condition, but yeah. you still don't know why it happened to begin with? That still has yet um, to be determined? I, I don't know the status of that. So the, uh, the plant, the company, they are um, responsible for determining what happened and we are monitoring, you know, their their progress. Um, this information is it's kind of there's an ongoing inspection, so there's nothing specific that I can tell you about that. But whatever our findings are, you know, we will document them in the in, in inspection report, and the plant will, you know, can uh, go back online only having confidence that there is no uh, concern that, that would affect plant safety. Okay, and what was your name? My name is um, Victoria, spelled with a K, C I K T O R I A, and my last name is Midley, Alan and Michael, I, T as in Tom, L as in Larry, Y, N as in Nancy, she is a George. Okay, I will get it to you um, by the end of the day, and then my direct number. I do have my contact information in email, but uh, just in case, uh, my direct number is 630 829 9662. Okay, thank you very much, Victoria. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye.